Oh, hi there. Dan Amert from OneOfSwords.com, and today's the day. It's the big launch party for Call of Duty Black Ops. The game comes out Tuesday, November 9th, but tonight, we party. It's Metallica live for a very select group of guests here in Santa Monica. But more importantly, Metallica's not here to celebrate Black Ops. Metallica's here to celebrate the Call of Duty Endowment. It's a charitable organization that Bobby Kotick has set up to help veterans return to civilian life and get jobs, and it's fantastic. They're getting $1 million at tonight's event, so let's take a look. Activision commandeered a hangar from the Santa Monica airport, dressed it up nice with a bunch of Call of Duty logos and pretty lights, invited the development team from Treyarch, invited the local media, had some of the cast of the game there, and of course one very special guest. Metallica! The band flew all the way from Australia to be part of the gig and support the troops, and the troops were there to support. There were guests from all six branches of the United States military there to play Call of Duty Black Ops in tournaments for multiplayer. They were very friendly, but they were still very heated and vocal, and the winners got to be part of the big presentation. Good evening, fellow game players. Good evening, welcome to the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops. The unemployment rate for veterans of our current wars is over 20% higher than the rate for all Americans, and it's growing. These statistics tell us that the number of unemployed veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan is over 185,000 people. This is only a few thousand fewer than the number of soldiers who are currently deployed in these countries. Think about that. Half the people who are involved in, this, in these wars are coming back unemployed. Tonight we've taken the first million dollars of profit from the pre-sales of Call of Duty Black Ops. The pre-sales. And we've contributed this money to a fund to find jobs for veterans. We reached out to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and National Guard and asked them to send us their most elite, their most decorated Call of Duty players. And tonight, for the first time ever on this stage, we are going to stage the first ever live winner-take-all Call of Duty multiplayer wager match between the six branches of the United States military. On behalf of uh, Activision and Call of Duty, we're presenting a check for one million dollars to the uh, National to the Call of Duty Endowment. You might have spotted Kobe Bryant helping present that check, but he had to make way for somebody louder. Call of Duty Black Ops ships on Tuesday, November 9th, worldwide, and if you want to find out anything about that game, go to callofduty.com. If you'd like to learn more about the Call of Duty Endowment, including what you can do to help our troops get the jobs they deserve when they come back to civilian life, go to callofdutyendowment.org. All the information is there. My site is oneofswords.com. I'll tell you everything that I can about what's going on at Activision, and I'll see you there.